Hello, everybody, and welcome back to, uh, Ukulele. <coughs> we have to play Queen Retro. Give your game a whirl. Or let's give your game a whirl. Oh, good. Please approach Kaden. I have to you beat Game Retro gives special prize. Right, pills we got. 109. We're making yeah. progress. We're getting closer. Do friends want to play a fun arcade game? I mean, heck, if we get you going at this rate, we'll have all the quills by next, the end of next, no, wait, no, we were in here for like half an episode. Collect quills and odd space junk in radical flying game. Rextro's favorite, this one, up in Nova. Collect quills, dodge obstacles, grab power-ups, get the high score. We can move and boost, that's all we got. I did see the picture for this one, uh, because on the main menu there was Rexro's Arcade, and I was curious if it included the ones that we could just go physically up to in the Hyper Towers Arcade area. And it does indeed include that. Oh, right, I forgot this game's version of Boost is, uh, Jump jump button. Wow, you... Oh, you can die on the ceiling. Well, that's good to know. But, wow, you go backwards really slow. Forwards really fast, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I guess it's because of the way that the screen is moving. So you're going against it. So it's a lot faster when you're moving forwards. Whereas going backwards, you're going with it, so you're just following along. You're not too much faster than it, so it looks like you're going slow. Which I guess makes sense. Anyways, yeah, no, on the main menu there's the Retro Arcade, and I was curious if it included the other ones that aren't in worlds. And, apparently, they have you select a save file, Oops. which I found hilarious because we hadn't unlocked it yet, we only just unlocked this minigame. So before recording, when I was doing this, or checking that, and it already had up a Nova unlocked. I just realized I have one health left. I can't take another hit. I have to be able to sight read the whole rest of this. I should probably stop going for score, since the score doesn't matter the first time around, anyways. Accelerate to extreme speeds. I hit X! That's so dumb. I hit X. Oh, that took a long time for it to allow us to go again. But yeah, no, um, despite having. We choose a save file that didn't have this unlocked yet, it still showed up in Nova. So I guess either it doesn't actually matter, or it just assumes that once you have the world unlocked, that you have the, the game. Which is a interesting thing to do, I guess. I feel like they could easily have just done the same thing as just if you have that world to play coin or play token. I guess we move the same speed as the old scroller because we don't ever seem to catch up to anything trying to move backwards. It's more like the, we go at the same speed as the old scroller so we don't. Know, 
It's hard to, it's hard to figure that one out. How that works. Would, would it be the same speed, or would we be slightly slower? I guess. I guess when you look at it, not moving like right now, not moving forward, so it's what we're doing right now. So I guess the auto scroller does technically move us. So going backwards is, I guess, just really slow. Oh, it's definitely is quick, just because riding on top of the speed. Whoops. Just flew too high. Ah, shoot. Yeah, it did just take me out here. It is annoying, though, that you can't adjust your height while uh, taking a place to respawn, considering sometimes you are just under a ceiling. Stuck under a ceiling. So as soon as you respawn, it immediately voids you out again. And it's not like it's your fault, you know? Like... You're forced to... You're forced to jump to respawn. And I am struggling to tell which one of these are gold and which one of these aren't. I'll be honest here. Or if they're even golden first at all, I mean, I'm just gonna miss those, that's fine. Like, those did look different, but I keep looking at these and I'm like, I, I didn't tell that the, that one was golden first, and it was, I think one was gold. I don't know, I've always struggled with golden, bronze, copper, whatever. Depending on, like, how the gold looks. Well done, friends. Which reward would friends like? Pagey or place on Retro's super cool high score leaderboard? I mean, if we do the next one, we get both. We'll take the Pagey thing. Feel free to try again. Or game again. This time, if friends beat high score, Retro will get another prize. If friends want to play again? Yes, please. Wasn't too bad. Depending on what the score ends up. So what, we got like 13,000? Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad. As long as I do about the same. Cause there, were, there were a lot of quills that I skipped because I didn't want to take the risk. I didn't realize your quills dropped like that. This arcade machine that is doing stuff like that. Where the camera was like, it spawned and then it respawned behind us. So odd.
Uh, the, hello? That's so unfair. It wouldn't let me respawn. Well, we beat it anyways, but that's so unfair. Like, it, it made the noise for not being able to do something. It was act it was making the noise. It just told me no, you're not allowed. Like, what was the point of giving me these quills to drop? Or like dropping the quills if you don't let me pick them up. Not like I was in a wall or anything. It's not like they're against uh, hitting the wall automatically. Wow, Retro can't believe friends beat high score. Believe it, brick boy. Now hand over the pagey. Friends want to play again? No. It's not like they're against uh, immediately respawning and dying again, because even the Kashino one lets you do that. And this one, like, you could respawn and immediately hit a ceiling and die. So I don't know why it didn't let me respawn. That was just messed up. And unfair. Also, that is a, like, four-minute auto-scroller. If that was as annoying as, uh, the Kashino one, in terms of, like, playing, uh, that would be awful. Because I don't even think the one... Like, I don't even think of Kish this Kashino one was that one. I think that one was, like, two minutes. Hi, uh, no. I'm just trying to do that thing that just, uh, I'm just trying to do the boost button. That is, for some reason, the same button as, uh, his talk to people. Which does include you, but is not limited to just you. But yeah, I know that's a four minute, like, auto score. Cause I looked at the time when I started that first attempt, and it was at, we were at eight minutes. We're at 15 minutes into the recording now. Like, dang. Anyways. Uh, there's multiple things over here, and I'm pretty sure I went the longest possible way to get around. But it's fine. Because now we get to break this stuff. Actually, no, let's just do it right now. Just in case it's one of those deals where it's like, if we don't get the pagey, it's definitely going to be inside. Uh, it'll like, re-block. I don't think it would, but... This is like the last episode I plan on recording because it's already 12.47 p.m. <laughs> I don't think that today's episode is going to really be really stunned on me. Anything above? Figures isn't flying up anyways, my little check. Can we, uh... There's a lot of butterflies that are either used for healing you. That is instant death. I did not expect that to be instant death. Is it still instant death? No. It's, that's what I was curious about. Because if it would just instantly kill us if we had that active. It doesn't. Alright, that's fine. Yoink. Burn those. I know exactly where that is. Uh, I think they're supposed to be dead. They're dying. 
I now successfully got them into the wall. Hi, where do you come from? Actually, though, where did you come from? Did you just not die earlier and you went outside to grab the stuff and you got away with it? That was just happened? Okay, we can actually go through this one, unlike the teleporting jumps. I'm so curious if this is still instant death. Okay. <laughs> it's so unnecessary to instantly kill you with those. So if you're getting hit by those ones, it's completely on your own choice. I don't see how you get hit by those on accident. Unless you get hit into them or something like that. Aw oh, man. I shouldn't have done that because now we don't have the toilet guy up there. And I wanted to see what they would do if I got in the tube. I'm so sad now. I'm actually kind of disappointed about that now. Oh, I want to just stand here and save. Rather than, uh... Take that risk of falling into one of those barriers and dying. We, we simply just have to switch to turn it all off. I was I'm pretty sure one of those turned off and then turned back on. Hey you, over here. Oh uh, sure, sure, we'll be right over. Fine, I guess I should talk to you even while we're being yelled at by a whistle. Hi, Paigey. We've completed the challenge. Can you please unlock the cage for us? Sure thing. We'll be a moment. Er, this is the first time this has happened. Sorry, friends. I must have have cage fright. I just can't get this to budge. Well, what are you going to do about it? We need to collect you. I could try slipping out of these bars. Stand back a second. How about that? That hit work. Are you telling me all you pages could have fit through the bars this whole time? You have to understand, it's quite comfortable in there. Also, one of them did try it, it didn't work. This one's just smarter. Cause they went sideways, the other one went forwards. You got a crab walk out of it. Hang on, there we go. And away we go. Actually, hang on. She's gonna carry us up. That works. That's also why I made the coat was uh we could just get this trophy bar star later. When there's not a death barrier that's gonna kill us from picking it up. Oh friend, I'm super sad that you don't get to have your infinite toilet now. Anyways, what's down here? <laughs> Anything cool? Other than the water? Anything at all? There's really just nothing down here. There's really just nothing. At least on this side, there's just nothing. Alright then. How about the other side? Got anything? from above. I mean, well, we got the molecule, we got the upgrade, we got the play token, we got the treasure, which that one's gonna whistle at us anyways. So we already have all the things that Hunter Tonic would show us, so the only thing possible to do is the quills, I guess. And I guess they didn't feel like putting quills down here. Alright then. 
I wonder if you rolled off the ledge where the lasers were, if you would fall through them or if you stand on them. And if you fell through them, if it would just mean you you forfeit living. Also, I'm a little bit confused and lost now. I could have sworn. That's that how you got the Pagey that was in front of this door. Actually, there's no longer a Pagey talk to us in front of this door. Was that Pagey actually the one that we got from inside? Alright then. I guess I misunderstood the, the situation. Hey. So. Uh... Oh, sorry. Now. So are each of these balloons going to be a paging piece? Is that what this is? I didn't realize that till right right now. Hello. Okay, fine. I guess I'll land. It sucks that they make you use a thing that costs energy while using a thing that costs energy. And apparently the balloons refuse to pop. <laughs> Actually, if I stand on the balloons and I do this, does that work? That's so much better. I'm the third page. One more to go. Let's also check out this boat while we're here. We didn't do that before. Pretty cool the boat. Sure, what's inside? Captain's cabin. Okay, we can't talk to you. Yar, who goes there? The rules are clear. You must announce yourself when entering the captain's cabin. Why don't you just turn the lights on? The lights? Darn it, man. And you know the captain has an irrational fear of shadows. Now announce yourself, lousy intruder. It's your... Um, Second mate, Billy. Ah, yes, Billy. I didn't recognize you before with the strange lizard voice. <laughs> You're a bit early, Billy. The captain's rub down ain't due for another hour until then. Be gone, Nuki. Huh. For having a rational fear of shadows. Oh, wait, never mind. Huh. I forgot there's a. Okay, huh. camera, wow. Huh. Wow, that was, that was some camera. I guess there's the shadow right here. That's why he's facing that way. How does that man ever go anywhere? How do they end up becoming captain? How can you even get a boat if you're scared of shadows? This is where Look, I'm a light. Yar, is that you, Billy? Are you still sad in the dark opening window? Are you mad? Now casting all manner of shadows. Let's just wait until nighttime moves on sale. There's shadows at night, there's moonlight and stuff. Night. Nighttime is not why we get into shadows. Alright, sure. Whatever you say, bud. So, Will here. These guys, we'll get rid of. So, this chest is also probably a Will. Yep. And this one. Yep. Anyways, uh, don't mind me breathing fire.
Arr, that's the biggest shadow I've ever seen. Quick, Billy. Me block the light with, out with this. Ah, Billy, why won't you save me from these awful shadows? Don't make me demote you to third mate. Well, not that. So look, it's me, Billy. Wait, hang on. There you go. Lily's on his head now. Oh, hey, we can stand on his head. We're both the bat now. Perfect. Anyways. Back to doing what we were doing. Exploring a boat and getting a pagey. Just real quickly. Will? Will? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured it'd be one of you too. I'm honestly surprised I got that first try. I thought I missed, which I mean I did, but apparently I didn't miss enough for the matter. And then I walk off the giant platform. It's at least nice to know though that all we're looking for is just PGs and quills. We don't gotta worry about anything else because you already got them all. Anyways, where was the, uh, thingy? It, it weren't too far from where we are. Yeah, there it is. We haven't even been over here yet, I don't think. And we still won't be over here. I miss. And we have just enough health to survive another. Perfect. We're definitely falling again. But this time on purpose. Just gonna wait for a second. I don't think I needed to, but wanted to. Oh wait, did we actually not take damage for that? Hey! I think last time we did. I'll, I'll take not this time. You found all my pieces. Return them to me. We'll do that. Is that... That looks like a whole bucket of worms over there. Talk to you when we unfroze you. Hey, I'm a pagey piece. Thanks for uh, defrosting me. I was a detonating. I got torn up by Capital B's minions and thrown around this world. <laughs> you pages need to get it together. Go on then, where are your pieces? The bad guy said they were going to scatter me across the sky. Have you seen any suspicious airborne objects? Don't worry, Paigey, we'll search for your missing pieces. Yeah. You found all my pieces! And finally, I'm whole again! Uh huh. I suppose we'll be collecting you now, then. <laughs> well, then, that'll do it for this episode of Ukulele. All we got left is what? One Ghost Rider? 12 Pages? Or actually, no, 10 Pages, because one's Quills and one's. Ghost Riders and 60 Quills. Hey, we finally got to a multiple 10. Nice. Not too shabby, I say. Oh, wait, do we actually have all the Ivory Tower ones now? Oh. Wait, really? I thought we were missing two and then we got the one from the slide. Guess I misremembered. Alright then. So, see you all next time. Bye bye.